Good afternoon, I'm Christopher Tan with a Curtin News update. There has been another night of wild rioting across the United States. The accident happened around 11 a.m. this morning north of Williams, which is about 160 kilometers from Perth. The semi-trailer was carrying 550 sheep, which was due to be exported live to the Middle East. Less than just two months ago, he has been on the road to many communities, offering support and education about dementia. Inside these buses, we do have PowerPoints where television sets are still set to arrive, and accompanying them will be virtual reality sets as well. Bradley, a much needed win today. How do you think the team went? New Zealand has reached another major milestone in its fight against COVID-19. It's now the first country in the South Pacific to have no active cases of coronavirus. Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern says while border controls will remain in place, all social distancing rules are being dropped. New Zealand is expected to announce later this week the virus has been eliminated. Welcome to the Western Independent. I'm Christopher Tan. Curtin University will be introducing bay finding technologies next semester. This will be your first across all Australian universities. Russell, police say they now have a zero tolerance for a breach of coronavirus control measures. This all happened just last night here at Fuller Street at City Beach, where a house of 20 people were fined on the spot for still drinking and dancing and not practicing safe social distance. It's to say the driver was very lucky to walk away unhurt, but they're very devastated about the losses of sheep. Elizabeth? And in football, West Coast and Fremantle have now relocated their players and support staff to the Gold Coast as the AFL season sets for a restart on Thursday. Perth's weather, more wet weather is tipped for Wednesday and will increase on Thursday. Overnight, it will be 10 and tomorrow 20 degrees. I'll have another curtain news update in an hour.